Hello OSA, Taras here. Welcome to another very exciting installment of our running series, What is a Fish? And today we're gonna to be traveling into the Rift Lakes of Africa. We'll go through this more in our African cichlid segment if we ever get there. But the idea was that on the east coast of Africa, right in the middle, eventually there are plates that ripped apart and these giant crevices opened up in the continent. Not enough to necessarily cause, you know, an entire new continent to break off, but enough so that some of that uh, Atlantic water flushed in and mixed with all this river discharge. And from that, we developed the great three African rift lakes. So Lake Tanganyika, Victoria, and Malawi. I only mention this because the critters that dominated these new ecosystems that were relatively fresh and, and open for conquest were the cichlids. And the cichlids divided and divided and developed all these different strategies. And one of the strategies they developed was mouth brooding. So I know what you're thinking. We're not talking about cichlids today. Why are you bringing all this up? I'm bringing this up because we're talking about the machokidi. This is a Cynodontus catfish. So many people might be familiar with the Cynodontus catfish, the larger varieties. They're also known as the squeaker catfish or the upside down catfish. And the Cynodontus is great, especially the larger species, because they have these big charismatic spines and they can hold their own against most cichlids. So they're a nice bottom feeder addendum and it can be added to even some African cichlid tanks without getting too beat up. And, and that's a nice thing about them. One of the other things people don't realize is that there's a lot of smaller Cynodontus species as well. And some of these have adapted very intimately with the African Rift Lake cichlids, specifically this one. This is called the cuckoo catfish. African cichlids, mouth brooding ones at least, uh, lay their eggs and then the female will come back, scoop the eggs up, and then once they're fertilized, give birth to the babies and then have some maternal uh, deal with the babies in the mouth anyway. This is where the cuckoo catfish comes in. Cuckoo catfish waits for the female to lay those eggs. Cuckoo catfish comes in, eats all the eggs, they're gone lays its own eggs, cuckoo catfish out, deadbeat mom. Cichlid comes in, scoops up all those eggs, starts rearing, caring, and protecting those eggs until they hatch. When they hatch, they ain't cichlids, they're cuckoo catfish babies. But unfortunately, for whatever reason, or pheromone tricks, or I'm not really sure, the cichlid rarely can tell the difference and raises the cuckoo catfish until they're so large that many times it damages uh, the female cichlid's mouth. Um, so this is how this particular catfish does. It's called a brood parasite. And even though it looks all really cute and looks like just a regular upside down uh, machokid in the pet store, uh, always know that there's a nefarious backstory or a charismatic backstory to every single fish that we have. And that's one of the greatest things about realizing how diverse all the different critters that we have. The machokidy, the cuckoo catfish, squeaker catfish, upside down catfish. Great uh, accessory cleanup crew to even a more aggressive cichlid tank and uh, nefarious brood parasites. So thank you for viewing. And if there's any other aquarium fish, species, subjects you'd like us to comment on or make a video about, comment below, subscribe. Please share these videos with anyone that's getting into the hobby or is just interested in learning more about fish. And as always, uh, feed the algorithm like it was a hungry uh, cuckoo catfish baby and you were a mother cichlid desperately trying to do her best. And visit us at www.osachoice.com to pick up all the supplies needed to start your own African cichlid and send it onto this catfish tank today. See you next time.